The fact that this had an $80 million budget and looked this good should illustrate the problems with budgetary waste in movies. And I think this movie is the best science fiction movie in the last two years. This film's a melting pot of movies I grew up loving. Go, go, go! A Vietnam movie mixed with robotic sci-fi. In this video, I will discuss various topics, and I believe that reviewing the movie will be just as pleasurable as watching it. Detonated a nuclear warhead in Los Angeles. This is a fight for our very existence. What's the story? The creator begins in 2065, in the middle of a war between the Western world where AIs have been eliminated after they were blamed for launching a nuclear bomb in Los Angeles. In New Asia, countries where AIs and humans coexist. AIs consider a human AI developer their god, or Nimrata. During a brutal raid on the House of Maya, the mysterious creator's daughter, it's discovered that her husband, Joshua, is an undercover agent for the United States, and Maya and her cohorts are killed. Five years later, the military recruits a still greeting Joshua to join them on a mission to infiltrate the Creator's lab and destroy an even more advanced secret weapon. The army insists that Maya is still alive and at the lab, so Joshua agrees. But during the bloody mission, it is clear that the new AI weapon is an AI kid named Alfie. Joshua immediately feels compelled to protect, as long as she can lead him to Maya. At first, I thought that the film would have a predictable story but it turned out to be exactly the opposite. The film's unique setting and story introduced a whole new world and allowed me to discover new things. You feel that the movie is from another planet. I will explain more about the story of the film in the prose section. They're my family. They're not people, Maya. They're not real. You and I are real. This isn't real. Okay, and cut, good. The characters? One, Alice and Janney. Alice and Janney portrayal of the villain is truly remarkable. She embodies the perspective of people in this world and how they view the war they are fighting. In this film, it is often emphasized that they are not actually killing the robots, but simply deactivating them. What I found intriguing is that most villains are aware that they are taking lives and being cruel in those moments. They may justify their actions by claiming the ends justify the means. Alice and Janney's character is different. To her, it is just a matter of turning off a computer. It holds no significance for her. One could argue that she doesn't even possess the mentality of justifying her actions for any greater purpose. She simply sees it as shutting down machinery. Gareth Edwards, he is a visionary. And these characters are all relatable and you fall in love with them. I thought, oh my God, sign me up. I want to be a part of this. What? Two. In her debut on-screen performance, young actress Madeline Univoyles delivers one of the most impressive performances I can recall. Despite her lack of experience in the show business, Madeline captivates the audience and fully embodies her character from the very beginning. As the movie progresses, she gradually takes on the emotional weight of the film, culminating in a remarkable portrayal that is devoid of any amateurish or unrealistic moments. Madeline brings a level of maturity and insight to her role that surpasses many other young actors, even those who are considered talented. Without a doubt, this performance will be among my top choices when reflecting on the best performances of the year. 3. John David Washington Gareth has this ability to inject compassion in a sci-fi genre that usually leans on spectacle and danger. sorry for Joshua's character and thought his acting was decent. But he wasn't the best because he didn't make me believe in the strong connection between him and Alfie. The most crucial aspect of the story is the relationship between Joshua and Alfie. But I didn't feel the intensity of this bond, unlike the chemistry between Ellie and Joel in The Last of Us. I want you to tell me your favorite movie characters and those you don't like in the comments. I want to share my story with you. I started my channel in early 2023 because I love talking about and reviewing movies and series. YouTube seems like the perfect platform for me to express myself, as there are people who share my interest in reviewing movies. However, I have been feeling discouraged because I haven't received enough support. 
I have made the decision that if I don't reach 1,000 subscribers within a month, I will stop uploading videos. I have until the end of September to reach this goal, so, so please help me continue on this journey. The budget is not everything. These words come from my heart. Some production companies believe that a higher movie budget automatically results in a better film. This belief is not true. The success of a movie depends on the spirit it carries. A great example is the movie Sound of Freedom, which achieved significant profits despite not having a huge budget. The movie's success was attributed to its spirit, and spirit of movie means the overall atmosphere and unique world created by the film. This can be felt through various elements such as the music, filming style, and the actors' performances. A comparison between series like Peaky Blinders and Breaking Bad further highlights how each show possesses its own spirit and environment, drawing viewers into their respective worlds. It is important to note that there are many exceptional stories that may not be well produced, with the series Power of Rings being a prime example. Is it any week? One. The writing and the plot. My issue with the creator is that the writing is not as well-crafted as the visual elements. Some of the dialogue is awkward, and the plot twists, like the reveal of the main character's identity, are quite predictable. The third act also feels rushed, and the movie ends abruptly. While the Hans Zimmer score is powerful, it lacks the necessary focus in the first half of the film. Additionally, there are too many unnecessary references, such as Radiohead in 2001, a space odyssey which detract from the overall experience. Overall, the movie does well in establishing its own identity, but falls short in certain aspects. 2. Lacking emotion The emotional connection to what they're trying to do there, I needed something but didn't get anything. Then new relationships are formed, particularly with a kid who is supposed to be a weapon. John David Washington plays a likable character in this movie, but the chemistry between the two characters. It could be because of the AI aspect, where you're not supposed to feel a human connection. However, in this story, you are supposed to feel the humanity, and I didn't quite feel the emotional connection with John David Washington and Alfie. There was something that didn't quite work in his interactions with other characters. On paper, it sounds great, but execution-wise, I'm not sure if it worked. I think that the most beautiful part when watching a movie is discussing the topic with other people. So tell me what you think about the creator, what you like about the movie, and what you hate about the movie, and how much you give the film out of 10. I will tell you my rate at the end of the video. Is it any good? One, a new story. At a narrative level, the story revolves around a global conflict over AI, with different nations taking different stances. This conflict poses the significant threat of a world war. The story focuses on John David Washington's character and his personal connection to the war, the military, and AI. It explores the impact of these factors on his family. While the threat is global in scale, the story remains deeply personal, centering on the protagonist and his relationship with the child. It successfully balances both the intimate emotional core and the grand scale of the world-threatening conflict capturing a wide range of emotions without losing sight of the individual characters. 2. World Design I really enjoyed this film because it is a grand sci-fi adventure that tells a unique story. The expansive lore covers decades and the threat it presents is global, with significant implications across multiple continents. The film takes you on a journey through different nations, including space stations, making it feel incredibly vast. The visual effects and cinematography are excellent, creating a believable world. The attention to detail in world building establishes the conflicts and tensions between characters, particularly their different perspectives on AI. The film doesn't feel artificial or filled with green screens. The effects are convincing, and the reported budget of only $85 million makes it even more impressive compared to other big budget movies. In contrast, I watched another film, Expendables 4, with a reported budget of $100 billion, and it looked terrible with obvious green screen effects. The creator, on the other hand, used real locations and enhanced them with CGI and production design, making it feel lived in and believable. This immersive experience allows you to get fully absorbed in the story and explore the captivating world they have created. 
what is my rate? I love the movie, I love the world they made, I loved everything in this movie. So my rating for the movie is 8 out of 10. Do not forget to tell me your rating out of 10. And then also do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.